Hey guys. Welcome or welcome back. For anyone who's new to the channel, this reading will be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. As always, only take a reading that resonates with your life. Leave anything behind that doesn't. Remember, there is no gender. If I pull a king or a queen, I could be talking about anyone. You'll know by the personality I describe. Any information you would need for personal readings is in the description of the video. So we're just going to look at this week, see what's going on. So we have enabler attempts to pacify another by sacrificing their own wants and needs to keep the peace. What is that's too many? Just one. Luck is on your side, new moon in Sagittarius. The moon is in Sagittarius. That was pretty quick. So we have haunted memories, flashbacks, and grudge holder. We have attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. I always say things are interesting. What do we have at the bottom of the deck here? The Nine of Wands. You know, I feel like there's someone out here <laughs> that really kind of, you know, he has some bad memories with here, obviously, but like you still might be holding a grudge against this person. But I feel like in the past, it's almost like you're aware that like you hurt yourself dealing with this person that used to enable behaviors with this person that you probably wouldn't deal with with anyone else just based off of some type of attraction or, you know, maybe I feel, uh, you know, trauma bond here. <laughs> for some of you, you may explain it that way. I think for others, you're way past that stage. You're like a lot more healed and you see this as like someone who also enabled the behaviors in you and you know they're still holding on to a grudge that you don't have but they're also still holding on to you and i think that you're not because you know this this luck is on your sides with the new moon and sagittarius energy it's still a new moon so that you know really like brings about like what needs to be released and i feel like releasing this in order to move on to something new 
you know, because it's saying you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So it's almost like you may even recognize that you may still sort of be holding a grudge. But it's evident in this person that they are. I feel like this person still sort of like plays the victim, feels like, you know, they, I don't know, something about you really like wounded their ego, I would say. Tell me more about this. Why is it relevant right now? <clears throat> Yeah, the Three of Swords. The Wheel of Fortune. The Hangman. And at the bottom of the deck, the Six of Cups. I feel like that's what this is really about, though, because here's the song. Leo energy here. Maybe before you were holding a grudge and now you sort of accepted that you did enable behaviors and that this person did too. I feel like, you know, the pain from this person specifically like really changed who you are, made you see yourself differently. Because the fun, of, the sun is about, you know, like pure happiness, but it also comes through like exposure, like this person exposed to you, your wounds. And so like it was faded you to meet this person that's how you view this person i feel like you aren't holding this grudge at the moment maybe you didn't even recognize for a long time that you were you just felt like you were over this person but really you were still kind of messed up over this but for a lot of you you know it was like a lot deeper than just this person it was like you know this haunted energy, this childhood energy that would pop up in this relationship specifically. But like, you know, I think it was shown to you who you really are too. You know, which changes a person. Something maybe is happening though for each of you, like where maybe this person is even popping back up because if they're not actually popping up, you know, in a physical sense, then like, you know, you're really thinking back to the situation and how maybe angry you've been since all of this happened and trying to really just let that go. Like, what do they need to know about look out for it or be aware of? The two of pentacles. The king of swords. Ooh. The page of cups at the bottom of the deck. I feel like you need to be aware of this person trying to like come back in with some type of energy that will throw you off like the two of pentacles is like the struggle to find balance I, I feel like for a long time you struggled to find the truth with this person and then you struggled to accept the truth with this person and i feel like here it's like you know maybe someone is returning because we do have this you know page of cups here but i feel like you're dead set on trying something totally new like to you you know, this may have happened like quite a while ago with this person. I'm thinking for a lot of you two or three years ago, you know, and this person's always kind of like just lingered in your energy. But I feel like now that you have this like understanding, you know that this is also a person that you can't deal with, with the King of Swords. It's like you, this person is not really able to affect you emotionally anymore or suck you back into some kind of game it's like you're way beyond your bullshit so i feel like you know part of this person's obsession with you is that you outsmarted them there's kind of something with that you know but 
you know, with the King of Swords, you can definitely expect, and the Page of Cups, of course, you can definitely expect some type of communication from a specific person here. But I feel like the the type of nonsense that you used to literally enable, you don't do that anymore. So if this person is like a little bit emotionally manipulative, it doesn't really work on you. It doesn't affect you. you know, if they like have some type of victimization story, I don't know. It, does, it just, they are unable to affect you in an emotional way anymore. And you'll see that for sure. And this may be how you know for sure that you really like, you know, are ready to move on. Tell me about the King of Swords. <clears throat> the King of Pentacles. The Tower. Five of Cups. Bottom of the deck, the chariot. So it could be a cancer person. Um, <clears throat> yeah. It's interesting because I feel like there's another person in their life who also may have been like, you know, tied into this little web of their nonsense you know and i feel like they've lost control of this person this person has like moved out or moved away from them or is moving on from them and they know for sure that you are too kind of like they're everything is just falling apart for this person and they can't come back to you either so i feel like there's a lot of loss surrounding this person specifically based off of their like Feel like um, greed. <laughs> That's the energy I'm getting, or maybe it's like superficiality. Lost them everything, but I think you know you paid a price before too. That you've kind of moved on from this, and this person like didn't take the time to really. You know, I think you can get over a person before dealing with another one. Um, but they kind of always have to somehow in their energy, and that's really, you know, they can't do that anymore. So they've lost all control. What's the advice in this situation? The Six of Swords. The Lovers. Gemini Energy. Five of Wands. The Devil. Capricorn Energy. The Ace of Swords. I feel like you, have, you know, there's other people that you're attracting in. Maybe that's part of this person's obsession, too. Maybe they felt like, you know, they were moving on to something better. You would sit around waiting for them to come back or something, you know, and instead they find a bunch of people fighting for your attention. Like you attempted to start something new and it'd be really easy for you to do so. You may just be sorting through options here. With you. I feel like the reality here, the Ace of Swords and Death, is that this situation is over. Whether you start something new or not, it's like you've accepted that this is over. You've accepted why it had to happen. And I feel like you literally do just see this person as the devil. Like, not in a sense like some weird Bible thumping devil energy. I mean, like, your biggest temptation. Um, that intense trauma bond, the signification of a attachment issue or mental health issue, and the need for change. And I feel like here it's like you've totally identified the devil and stared him down. And I think this person, they, they may be your biggest test 
Like they were once your biggest weakness. Remember, this was like a minute ago, and you may not even look at it like that anymore. Like I don't really feel weak. I don't even know how this person used to get me messed up like that. Like they're like their lies are really weak. <laughs> like I just don't. It just doesn't even make sense, you know. Um, like think that you've really, really gotten past this. But it's interesting because I feel like this person's showing up to try one last time, like the devil would always do. I'll see you soon.